What is happening today everyone? This is Andy and I'm logging into the Watchtower. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Shazam movie. That's coming up right after this. everyone welcome back and like I said before I'm going to be doing a review today over the Shazam movie uh, I just had a chance to watch this and got home I want to give my thoughts on it so uh, let's just dive into that right now so Shazam is directed by David F Sandberg uh, it stars Zachary Levi as uh, the titular Shazam Mark Strong as the villain Dr. Thaddeus Savannah Asher Angel as Billy Batson, uh, Shazam's alter ego, and Jack Dylan Grazer as Freddie Freeman. We're going to do the synopsis first, and then I will go into the pros and cons. So, the synopsis of the movie is that uh, Dr. Uh, Thaddeus Savannah, Mark Strong's character, uh, when he was a little boy, he was transported to the Rock of Eternity by the wizard Shazam to see if he was worthy of becoming a Shazam um, and he wasn't so he spends the rest of his life trying to f go back to the to go back to the Rock of Eternity and um, get the power for himself we catch with him up with, again with him in the modern day he um, he manages to release um, an evil, an ancient evil, um, that had been uh, locked away for years by the Wizard Shazam. So he managed to unlock this evil and get power from it. Um, so then the wizard gives Billy Batson power, and and he has to get the power, get the power of Shazam then to fight Doctor uh, Savannah. And uh, just figures out how to learn his power and stuff along the way. So that's been the brief synopsis of the movie. Um, pros, first off, uh, the first pro, the cast in this is all really, really well uh, done. Everybody, I think, was really well cast. There wasn't anybody that was not well done or anything. Really, really well cast. Um, big shout out to Zachary Levi here because he was born to play this role. I mean, this is uh, this is a perfect role for him. He's he does such a good job of channeling being a child and stuff. And Zachary Levi, I said before this movie came out and before he was cast in this movie, I've seen in other interviews where he said that he's like a big kid. He's like just like a like a man child. And you can really tell in this movie that that was perfect casting because he gets to have fun. He gets to act like a child. Um, really, just really, really well done. He does such a good job in this. Um, Mark Strong is a villain. He was, I mean, he's a typical, uh, he did a good job, but that's what, kind of what you expect from Mark Strong. He plays a lot of bad guys, and he always, uh, does a good job as playing a bad guy, but good job by him. Uh, Jack Dylan Grazer as Freddie Freeman, I really, really liked as a character. He was a really good young actor and good, good, good part. Um... Asher Angel as Billy Batson, another, uh, didn't get a whole, as much time as, like, some of the other characters and stuff, because he was mostly, you know, Zachary Levi's movie, Zachary Levi was mostly in it, but he did a good job showing emotion and, uh, stuff like that, and, you know, just really good job by him, and then the supporting cast as well, um, really well done, um, hit Billy Batson's foster family in this, all the foster kids, they did a really good job of giving them all individual characteristics and traits and stuff and not making anybody just seem like they weren't important or looked over. Really, really well done overall for the entire cast. Uh, second pro, um, this movie is just, I don't know any other word to say, way to say it, but it's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's just light, easy, it doesn't take itself too seriously. There's some there's some dark parts to it and everything, but it's just so much fun. They do a really good job with the humor and everything and just it's I mean this movie is wishful for one. This is if you were a kid and you got superpowers, what would you do with them? And they go through all that. All the different stuff that you would do, you know, if you were a kid and you got superpowers. And it's just it's just fun. Why wouldn't it be? You're 
This is a superhero movie. They should be fun, and it is. It it's capital F U N fun. It is just so so good. So that's been my my pros. Um, my my cons. Uh, first one is CGI. This isn't like a real, real heavy CGI movie. There is a little bit of CGI, but it's uh, not a whole lot. But there is a little bit that doesn't uh, look quite right. Mostly uh, when they're flying and stuff. It, some, some of it looks a little off. So that that's a con for it. Not real noticeable, but I did see it a couple times where the flying uh, looked weird with the CGI and everything. So that's one. The other one is... Uh, I'm going to contradict myself here a little bit, but the villain. Um, I think Mark Strong did a good job of playing the villain. He was He's a really good actor. It's not the acting of the villain it's, that's the problem. It's just, um, maybe because it's just like a bad guy we've seen before, but he's just like, he's just that typical mustache twirling bad guy. And um, I didn't feel find his motivation for doing what he was doing very compelling. He was just, he was just a spoiled... A needy, a whiny, whiny kid who grew up to be a to do grew up to be a, a spoiled adult, um, and they try to shine some light on it, like his uh, his upbringing and stuff, and his and his parenting, and, uh, and like how he was raised, and kind of sympathetic for him. But I just found him to be like um, a pretty one note bad guy, and just you know. Um, not a great, not not a great villain. Like Mark Strong does a really good job in the role, and you know, just as the mustache twirling, you know, and everything. But just, um, I found the motivation for him to be a little, a little lacking. But um, that's those are two very very minor nitpicks. They didn't take me out of the movie. They didn't make me enjoy the movie any less. Um, I, um, I l laughed harder in this movie than I have. In a lot, in a lot of other movies recently, um, it was just so, so, so funny. Just even thinking about it right now, some of the stuff they did, and just with him trying to learn superpowers and stuff, um, was just so much fun. The whole extended sequence in the in the convenience store from the trailer is just hilarious, and just uh, um, Billy Batson or uh, Shazam's interaction um, with. Uh, Freddie Freeman and some other people is just is just so so funny. Um, it's just it's such a good movie and it really shows that like DC can really just they can just like stretch it and they can hit do any tone they want because they have such a wide range of characters and stuff they can hit different stuff. You can do dark and gritty with Batman. You can do silly fun, you know with. With Shazam, you can you can and then you can do other characters that are somewhere in between that spectrum, but just so much fun. Uh, I would give this I would give this movie uh, a nine out of ten. I so enjoyed it. I think it's probably uh, the best movie that the DCEU has done so far. Um, just really really well done. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, all right, that's. That's been enough for me. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and this is Andy signing out of the Watchtower.